So chances are you're, you're here because you've downloaded one of these VDB animations from Django FX, or you've downloaded some other VDB animation, or you have VDB animation in 3ds Max, and you're trying to load it into Arnold, and it isn't working. So this is how to fix that. In this particular example, uh, it, I'm going to use gasoline explosion. You can use any of these. It applies to all of them and probably whatever VDB sequence that you are working with. So we've got Max open. Um, I'm going to add Arnold and I'm going to add a volume and I'm going to zero it out. Don't you guys love Arnold? I love Arnold. It's so great. It's not janky at all and it works right out of the box. <clears throat> anyway, um, here we go. So here's our VDB sequence, you know, fine, great. Click open. It says it's an animated volume. Should I load it as an animation? Yes, you should. It won't do it, but you, yeah. Uh, you click OK. That's all fine. And if you go down here, you'll see that animation support is not on. That's because it's too stupid to know that it's got a sequence. Even though it already knew it had a sequence, it can't actually do it. And the reason is because what it needs, what Arnold needs, Arnold's such a delicate little flower, is it needs four digits, okay? It needs a 0000, zero, zero, zero on this, right? So this extension, all of these extensions have to have four digits. So in the single digits, 0009, 0008, 0007, and so on. For double digits and any other digits, it needs to have two zeros preceding the the number uh, 0099. Um, for the three digit version, it needs 0100. So you need four digits, okay, on your VDB sequence. Now, it's this is incredibly annoying. It's stupid, but it's the only way that it's going to work. Okay. So if you download Renamer, which I will link in the description, it is free. Thank God for stupid. Okay. I'm going to, going to watch my language. Uh, so, so we're going to go zero. We're going to go to zero to nine. So we need four on this. So we're going to do copy. Actually, we can just cut. We can do cut. That way we know where we're at. VDB examples, and you can see I've already done this. Paste. So instead of going back through this whole thing um, and having to manually do, you know, right click, rename, this does it for you. It does it much faster. So, you know, this kind of tedious crap uh, is a little less worse. It's still really stupid that you have to do this, but anyway. Um, hopefully in future versions of Arnold, they'll fix this. I, I, I'm going to wait with bated breath. So to add, we need, or again, we need four digits. So to add four here, okay, you have to click here to add a rule. So I want to insert here, I want to do 0000. So because these change, I need to give it something that's a constant. So the constant here is underscore A underscore. So I'm going to do after text underscore A underscore. I'm going to add two zeros. Okay, and then I click add rule. Oh, and I messed up, so that's good. So you can see the name over here and then your new name. But see, I need an additional zero because remember, it needs four. So, one more zero, and now we've got four. You see zero, 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 one, and so on. And now all you do is you just click rename and it says you've successfully renamed those, great. And if we come back over here, they're renamed. So now we're gonna cut these. And we're going to go back to gasoline explosion and we're going to paste. Now watch how magic this is. This You're going to love this. So as soon as I do that, 
going to come back to my downloads, the same thing. I'm going to click open, and it's going to say, yeah, do you want it in the animation? Uh, yeah. Now watch that. Isn't that amazing? Now you'll see it only goes to frame 9, and then it stops. Frame 9, and then it stops. It's wonderful. And it's because... The next sequence doesn't have the 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 uh, the four digit uh, that it wants. So now we're going to scroll down, and I think you probably have it at this point. Like you probably get it, but I'm going to just do the whole thing just in case. I'm going to cut, go to rename again, and I'm going to paste. Okay, now I've got my 10 to 99. I'm going to take my renamer again. I'm going to actually close this and open it up again. So it clears that out. I'm going to drag this over. Now you see we've still got our other rule up. It'll stay up, but now it's too many zeros. Okay, so now it's 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So again, it needs four. So we have to come in here, delete a zero, and do save, and now it's got what it needs. Now we click rename, successfully renamed. We're gonna come over here and you look over here, it's got four digits, because Arnold is a delicate, delicate flower. We have to we have to be very careful around Arnold. We wanna you can't even you can't even shout too much when you're around Arnold. You understand? You gotta be real careful. I'm going to hit paste. Okay, so now I've got nine, and now I'm starting with 10 with my four digits, and it goes all the way down to 100. But watch this. If we do it again, there we go. Yes, I want to load it as an animation. Now look, it goes all the way out. Isn't that amazing? Now our sequence goes down to 130. So I'm going to make 130. I'll click OK. And it actually looks like it's doing it. OK, here we go. So it gets to 99. Again, same, same thing. We get to 99 and we get to 100 and it stops. So from 100 to 130, it doesn't, it not, nope, you don't have the, the specific amount of letters that I need. And if you look here, you can see it, it'll update this every single time. So it's telling me that, oh, this is your sequence. Whereas before, this was turned off because it's so dumb. It doesn't, it can't, even though it knows it's an animation sequence, it can't load it. So I'm going to click it back on. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start at 100, which is right here. And we're going to go to 100 to 130. We're going to cut it. We're going to go into here, into rename, and we're going to paste. And then we're going to close renamer again. And we're going to do renamer. <sighs> and we're going to drag our files in here. You, you can tell, I think, from my voice, you can tell how happy I am that I'm doing this. Now, again, our old, our old rule isn't going to work because now we've got one, two, three, four, five. We need four. So we got to come in here, delete a zero, save the rule. Now it's got one, two, three, four, zero, one, zero, zero, and so on. And if you had, if you had a thousand frames, you'd probably be okay, I'm guessing. But if not, I don't know. Maybe at a thousand frames, you have to add a zero. If you have a thousand frames and, you know, that's just, I don't have a thousand frame VDB, so you're going to have to figure that out on your own. But at least you know, okay, this is what's going on. So I'm going to click rename, successfully renamed. Now I've got four digits like it likes because it's a special, special snowflake flower. And we're going to go back to here again. And we are going to paste that. There we go. And then if we come back up here... Yes, loaded as an animation. And look at that. All the way to 130. Isn't that fantastic? 
I think that's fantastic. And it actually works. That's a that's a that's a big shocker right there. I've got the Z axis on the wrong thing. You can flip it up to where it's supposed to B, which is shooting up in the air, but there you go. How to get VDB sequence files to work in the wonderful, wonderful Arnold render. I'm so glad that 3D Studio Max doesn't use Mental Ray anymore because Arnold is so great. Uh, yeah, thanks.